Absurd statements. Kids say them, adults say them, and I'm about to recount one right now that's the topic of this video. There's nothing good to watch. Well, wait, wait, wait. with the exception of Visional Axis, of course. <clears throat> okay, drop the title card. Back in the day, to have entertainment was usually required to have either a live show out in front of you, this is the greatest show. or a great cable package on the television. We live in the new millennium, where streaming services and cord cutting options are pretty much everywhere you look. But today we're gonna to talk about a new player to the game, which is why you clicked on this video. YouTube Premium. So what exactly is YouTube Premium? Well, if you're familiar with Netflix, Spotify, Apple Music, Google Play, you'll pretty much be familiar with YouTube. It's a premium service option to your current existing YouTube that gives you quite a few benefits actually for your money. So we'll get to pricing later on in the video, but let's talk about what YouTube Premium actually gives you. So there's two subscription models. You have YouTube Premium, which comes with YouTube Music, and you also have just YouTube music. Unfortunately, there's no way to get just YouTube premium without the music. I mean, including the price you're paying for that and you're getting it. So we need to all come to terms with that. So what exactly do you get in a YouTube premium membership? Why should you bother? So first and foremost, no ads on the videos or on their music streaming service. Another great addition is that instead of be having to be in YouTube to be able to watch videos, you can actually continue watching your video minimized in a little side video as demonstrated right here. It's kind of nice. I don't like the whole picture in picture type thing, but I get that there's a lot of people who would definitely find use for it. Also comes with a complimentary subscription to YouTube Music if you choose the YouTube Premium tier. And of course, just like Netflix, YouTube is doing its own original content. Right now, my favorite is actually probably one you've heard of, Cobra Kai, based off the original 1980s movie, The Karate Kid. Seriously, you should go check it out. It's a great series. I'm gonna be straight up with you. During my testing, I have not really found any benefit to having YouTube music. Not a fan. Over Spotify. So Spotify is my music player of choice. I know others prefer Google Play Music. Others prefer Apple Music, but for me, I picked my music player. And it's gonna take someone bringing something to kind of get me out of that. What that feature is, I don't know, but all my needs are being met with Spotify. So let's get into pricing here. It's $11.99 a month and $17.99 for the family membership. Right now to test this out, YouTube is actually giving a pretty awesome free trial of the individual plan. So that's really great. And if it was good, you know, I, I just, I would just plain sign up for the family membership, but that's me. Not too terrible for pricing, but at the same time, that's an extra monthly cost and that can make a lot of difference to families. Now YouTube does cost you against one thing and it's kind of small in the pricing. Go through YouTube to get this because they do know that going through the Apple App Store might actually cost you a little bit. It says so right on their website as you can clearly see here. So prices do vary a little bit. Unfortunately, we really couldn't find a price, but given how much they charge differently for, for Spotify, you're looking at maybe an extra dollar or two, not much. But it's a warning for you in case you wanna sign up for it. Would I sign up and pay monthly for YouTube Premium? We're waiting. <laughs> no, and I'll tell you why, because this is the cons that make sense to me. Don't get me wrong, I love the fact that it's ad free. I haven't had to look at an ad for, you know, close to a month of my three month free membership, which is great. I've gotten the opportunity to finish watching Cobra Kai, which is a great series. Even though it does include YouTube music, I can't justify an extra $12 a month for another service. Honestly, because it's, not that well established yet. I mean, YouTube is, but YouTube music doesn't bring enough functionality or conveniences for me to invest my time into copying my playlist from Spotify over to YouTube 
music. Another reason is basically because as much as I love YouTube, ads don't really bother me and ads do help support content creators like myself. So, you know, I'm kind of, it's kind of a catch 22. Do you think YouTube premium is actually a great service? Thanks you guys for watching another episode of Vision All Access and please let that comment section flow. Are you a fan of this new YouTube premium? Have you tried it? What are your thoughts? Like I said, for me, it's got some pretty cool features, but I don't think it's going to be a go. Don't forget to follow me Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. We're still going 100 strong, trying to get to 100 subscribers by the end of summer, which I'm putting at the end of September. So we got 48 more subscribers. So please share this video, tweet about this video, talk about this video and my others up there on my page and help me get that custom domain, police. Keep it tuned to Vision All Access and don't forget to ring that bell. And to quote one of my favorite YouTubers, if you feel like being awesome, don't forget to go Kamikaze style right on that like button down below. And I will see you guys on the next episode of Vision All Access. Have a great weekend.